When making measurements in class, you're going to want to make sure that you measure the mass, volume, or lengths of objects to the correct level of precision. Here we have a board and we have three different Lee calibrated meter sticks. A meter is 100 centimeters. So go ahead and pause the video and say, what do you think you would measure this stick at using this specific meter stick? So if you said 60 centimeters or 50 centimeters or 70 centimeters, you would be correct. If you said 61 centimeters, that would be incorrect. Or if you said, I think it's 67.52 centimeters, that's incorrect. The reason you can only measure or you can only record measurements, what you know for sure, plus one guess digit. In this case, I don't even know that it's for sure 60. Maybe it's 50, maybe it's 70. I'm guessing that I think it's 60, 50, or 70. So if I was to say that this is 61, that would mean I know for sure that it's 60 and I'm guessing on the ones digit, but I don't know that it's 60. So that's why 61 would be an incorrect length measurement for this board given this meter stick. So if we look at the next meter stick, we have a little bit more information. So now pause the video and figure out what you would record this board at given this meter stick. So I could say 61, I could say 62. It's probably not 63 given that data. So I would probably accept 61 or 62. Again, I cannot say that it's 61.9 because that no means that I for sure know that it's 61 and then I'm guessing on the nine. But I'm guessing on the one and the two. I can only have one guess digit. So one more. Now, if you notice, I have more tick marks. Those tick marks are what we call gradations. So pause the video and record what you would write this one down as. We can see that we know for sure that it's 60 something. If it was right on this line, it would be 61, but it's a little bit to the left of that line. So it's 60 point, it's almost to that line. So I'm gonna say it's 60.9 centimeters. This is the one I'm guessing, because I don't know for sure it's 0.9, but I know that it's six and I know that it's zero because it's not to the one. Maybe 60.8, but the best answer is gonna be 60.9 centimeters. Here we have a triple beam balance. We don't use them too often in our class because we have electronic balances, but if you saw a triple beam balance, these are also similar to what you would see at a doctor's office. This is the 200 place, so we know that it's 200. This is the tens place, so I know that it's two, four. This is the ones place, so we know that it's between five and six, so 245 point. Oh, I don't have any tick marks here though. So notice that this device measures to the ones place. So all of these are known, which means I need one guess digit. I can't leave it at 245. So it's going to be 245 point, uh, maybe that looks a little bit past the halfway, so maybe 245.6. Again, I cannot add a zero at the end because that means that I wasn't guessing on the six. But I've already guessed, so this is my answer. If you were having to handwrite your answer, I would accept 245.5, 245.7, and I'd probably take 245.8 as well, just because again, you are guessing on that last digit. Looking at that same triple beam balance, but now if I have this zoomed in image and it actually has all these gradations between the five and the six, I can make a more accurate measurement. I'm going to pause the video and record what answer you think this mass should be recorded as. Restart when you have your answer recorded. 
So just like before, we know that it's 245, 245, but now looking at the tick marks, I know that it's 245.6, and I'm guessing that it's exactly on the 6, so I'm going to say 60. But maybe you said that it's 245.61. That would be acceptable as well. But just saying 245.6 and not having that 0 or 1 would be incorrect because that would mean the triple beam balance looked like this one above where we didn't have those tick marks between the 5 and the 6. But we do, which means we should have one extra level of significant figures. Go ahead and pause the video and record your volume for this graduated cylinder. Restart when you have your volume. So in this case, we see that it's 10, 11, 12, so it's increasing by ones. Since it's increasing by ones, you need to record to the tenths place. So I said it was exactly at 11, so 11.0. Again, my guess is the zero. I'm going to pause the video and do this one. Restart when you're done. In this case, here's a four, here's a five. It's increasing by the tenths place. So I should be recording to the hundredths place. So 4.5678. It looks like it's exactly on the 8, so I'm going to say 4.80 milliliters. If you had said 4.81, again, that's fine. What matters is that you're to the hundredths place. See the difference in the two graduated cylinders. This one's increasing by ones, so I record to the tenths place. This one's recording to the tenths place, so I put my answer in the hundredths place. This one is a burette. This one is a little bit trickier because if you notice, you have 46 on top, 48 on bottom. It's getting bigger as you go down. So people mess this one up quite often because they try to say that it's 47 something. So 47.1 or 1.8. It can't be 47.18 because my answer is between 47 and 46. This number is not between 47 and 46. So there's no way that this can be the right answer. So I'm going to say, well, I know it's between 46 and 47, so it's got to be 46 point something. 46.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And it's a little past the 8, so maybe 8.2, maybe 8.3, maybe 8.1, but it's a little past the 8. So 46.82 milliliters. The reason the numbers are backwards is because I'm seeing how much I've dispensed out. So it's going to start at 0 on the very top, and I can just read, if it went all the way down here, that I've put 46.82 milliliters in my flask below. So I'm going to pause the video and do this last one on your own. Restart when you're done. Just like before, we know that it's got to be between 6 and 7. So 6 point, there's 6.5, 6.6, a little past it, so maybe 6.63, 6.62, 6.64, 6.65. Somewhere in there, and that would be milliliters.